Hey, here a debate where we debunk, debate, and discover all things here. And welcome back. Yes, my name is Morello Kane. It's the Hair Debate. We have an exciting topic that we're going to be discussing today. But let me introduce my panel to you. I have right here next to me, Amanda Nicholson, which is a marriage and family therapist. How are you doing today, Amanda? I am doing great today. Uh, you're looking great. Thank you, girl. <laughs> yes. And then we have over here to her left, Dr. Donna Ariwo. How are you? Hey. Gorgeous. Yes. <laughs> and when I tell you, you guys are doing some great things, ending this season off greatly. What are some things that's going on with the Prudes Guy? So the Prudes Guy, we are in our second season right now. So you all make sure that you follow Prudes Guy to Intimacy on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I help women find their sexual inner goddess. Um, yes. And I just do it in my own way. So make sure you check us out. Love it. Okay, Dr. Donna, oh, that cocoa butter and hair grease. <laughs> I'm loving that. That book is excellent. Thank you. I, I love it. It is definitely a labor of love that yes. came through the therapy room. And it is. And my research. It's but, okay. You know, out here in these streets now. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Um, I see that the book, I know you intended it to be written for um, the millenniums, I would say. You know? Okay. I guess I was mostly going for that 24 and up sort of crowd. Oh, so, okay, absolutely. Because I'm just like, well, Grandma need this book too, so she can stop saying some nonsense <laughs> the, oh, to the grandbaby. Okay, now. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely. But what I've come to realize is that that book is actually interesting and should be shared with the younger girls, preteen and whatnot. You know, my daughter is 12 or 14, 13, and it's great for her. A great conversational piece as well. A good way to know exactly what's going on in her head. And it is. And, and it is. Tone. And it is. I love what you've done with that. I love what you've done with that. So our topic today, ladies, okay, when it comes to sexuality aesthetics, okay, again, when it comes in pertaining to our hair, you know, we don't, you know, understand that, um, you know, sometimes we kind of look at the hair on top of our heads not really thinking about the hair in all places and everywhere else. Mm -hmm. And so when it comes to now, when I say, you know, does the drapes matches the carpet? Why is that important? I don't know that it is. Okay. Important. Um, I just feel like people have their own personal preference when it comes to pubic hair. Cause that's what we're talking about. No, uh, yeah. So <laughs> I feel like, okay. I feel like people have their own personal preference. Some people like to be waxed. Some people like to be, um, some people shave. Some people just do a little clean up, a little trim. Mm -hmm. and a little they, edge up. A little edge <laughs> up, you know, and they go about their business. But, um, like, we had the discussion the other day, and we were talking about keeping, just keeping yourself moisturized. And I feel that, the conversation shouldn't just be for the ladies. Absolutely. Right? Because we have all this pressure to get waxed and all mm. of these different things. And I like to tell men, if you prefer your woman to be waxed, okay. you need to be waxed too. Whoa, oh. Because let me tell you, when you go get waxed, they get all up in there. Okay? Okay. They get in there. Yes. So if we are being intimate and I'm smooth everywhere and you all prickly, that's a it, lot of friction. <laughs> That don't feel good. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that don't feel no. good. <laughs> no, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Donna, when I tell you, <laughs> do you feel that it's important, you know, for if you're taking care of the hair, you know, as, as because some men would say, okay, if your hair is smelling and whatnot, you know, you're working out, you're wearing weave and, it, it, you know, and I'm, I'm close and up and personal with you and I'm smelling your hair, you know, does that indicate, you know, in other places may not be clean as well? No. <laughs> it does not indicate that. <laughs> now, yes, you can, you, if you want to use that as a factor, as a way of saying, uh, 
let me let me put, let me pause on you real quick. I I, t- I definitely understand. However, black women don't off they don't wash their hair that often. It, it costs money to keep this hair done. It don't cost money. Yeah. Not, not the same money <laughs> to keep the other hairs it's a, it's a, <laughs> looking groomed and right. nice. Absolutely. So, I mean, when you're taking care of your pubic hair, we're talking about a whole different ball game. Yes. I mean, washing your pubic hair, that, that's an expectation. <laughs> I, I'm looking like, I, I like to believe that many of us, we, we wash our, we wash. <laughs> We wash our vulvas. We wash those vulvas. And yes. We 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 scrub if we have pubic hair. Yes. I mean, we are taking the time to wash properly and appropriately. But a lot of women are, you know, they're waiting until maybe they see their their hairdresser to get to do anything with their hair, which means they're that also is having to wait until they stack those dollars. That that is have. correct. Okay, right. you better say it. Absolutely. You're right. Amanda, you had something to say? No, I was just thinking. You know. To piggyback off of what Donna said, um, mm-hmm. you don't know what kind of work somebody does. Okay, right? that is so. That you is know, true. Some women work in construction. Yes. Some women are personal trainers. Um, they're artists. You know, artists be sticking out kind of stuff <laughs> in the head all the time, and you don't know what's going on with their hair. And like you said, b- black women, well, nobody really is supposed to wear their hair every day. I, I don't think. Well, technically, well, they it, say you're not even supposed to wash your behind every day. Uh, I ain't really? They say that you shouldn't be getting into the bath every day because it's actually it dries hurting. your skin it out. It dries out your skin, and your skin is your yep. first line of defense against. Okay, old but then, but then, you know, in our vagina area as well. I no, mean, to no, me, no, that, no, that, no, that, no, no, because no, no. I want to make sure that these individuals hear us correctly. They won't say that, you know, oh, well, you know. Well, you know, well, the doctor said that, you know, you don't necessarily have to. Your doctor better say. <laughs> right. Your doctor. Right. Okay, you spoke to your doctor. But a lot of dermatologists <laughs> do say that it's not necessary, you know, to take a full shower uh, okay. every Absolutely. single day. You know, you might Absolutely. do a little bird bath or a hoe bath, as some people like to call it, wash mm-hmm. up. But me personally, I enjoy taking a shower every day. Yes. Um, personal preference. I also, you know, moisturize every day. Absolutely. But I think also we can't compare like hair, like how hair smells. Yes. To somebody's other personal hygiene routine. Right. It's absolutely. You're absolutely yeah. correct. <clears throat> but now I will like to also say, you know, when you were talking about you know, um, shampooing the hair, you know, not every, you know. Yeah. So now the reason why other ethnicities may shampoo more so is because their natural oils secretes to the, to the, from the roots of their hair, from their scalp, actually, to their ends, only because the texture is finer and is straighter. So they have to wash your hair every day? Uh, well, I, not every day. Okay. But because, you know, you want that free-flowing hair, you want to be able to curl it and it hold a curl mm-hmm. and whatnot, once the natural oils get on that hair and the hair is heavy, it's no longer um, retaining the style. And so that's the reason why you have other ethnicities with that straighter hair. Now, when we say that, a lot of times, you know, we think white. But black women also, many black women, have the same issue, you know. Wow, I didn't know that. Uh-huh. A lot of black women have the same issue. Mm-hmm. You know, so with that being said, then, you know, there are times... And independent on their work, you know, their look or whatnot for their profession, they may have to shampoo more regularly or whatnot, but they can support that because of their scalp condition. You know, so everything, you know, um, would pertain to the healthiness of the scalp and the hair and whatnot. I would probably never make it to work on time if I had to wash my hair. <laughs> no, so, yeah. <clears throat> Every day is not happening. Yeah. It's, 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 or it's every other. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Swung no. once <laughs> twice a week now. I can do that. Yeah. If I'm only wearing a natural. It, exactly. But I like the second we talking about some braids, <laughs> let me tell you what's not happening. But they have to, can you imagine having to detangle your hair two, three times oh, a I week? I don't do that. Ooh. No, no. You cannot, <laughs> you cannot run a comb through this right now because I don't run a comb but through now, regularly. But now, let me just tell you what's exciting to me. Because when I thought about that topic, I'm like, okay, does the drapes matches the carpet? Now, me, because I like to be different. Let me just tell you what's hot to me. Boy, it's having those highlights through that hair, whatnot, and that and hair, that people hair, 
is matching my hair up. Oh, oh you got the okay, whole curl, looking sexy. Let us got that hair, got a little streak. <laughs> I'm just saying this is a thought. It's just a thought. I'm just saying. I'm just saying it's just a thought. But a lot of women, they do do that. And then we have, like, um, the vajazzling and different okay. things like that. So a lot of women, they do take extra pride in their vulva area. So dyeing it, you know, getting their pubic hair in shapes like hearts and diamonds. Like, a lot of women, they... They go, no, yeah, they're all what, in. What, no, absolutely. When I tell you, I thank you ladies so much for the conversation on this because it's needed. Yeah. You know, it's, it's needed. It's, it's very much so needed. And so, again, this has been my take, okay? Again, does the carpet matches the drapes? Okay, again, do your research, connect with your hair care provider. For more shows like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to be notified every time the Hair Debate has a new episode. Now let's get back to the show. Yes, and welcome back. Now, with this particular part of the segment, we have with us Chef V. But let me just tell you, Chef V is not here today. Okay, so we're going to have one of her partners. We're going to have one of her team members, Liana, that's going to be with us today. Because whoever knew hair and food? And so, Liana, will you come on out, please? Hi there. Good morning, lovely. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <clears throat> that uh, just a little bit. Just a little song. A little oh, that is nice. So what have you guys prepared today? We have some fruit and Kobe Jack. Okay. Oh, I absolutely Ooh. love it, ladies. What a healthy take. Yes. No, it is. But, okay, so now with our segment, being today we're talking about you know, does the drapes matches the carpet. So let me just say this, uh, fruit, I would say that fruit would be a very important thing with that, you yeah, know. You remember not, our pineapple conversation? Uh, yeah. <laughs> because I would just say when it comes to the fruit, you know, what you eat sometimes, you know, you can also, if, you know. You will smell it. Yeah. Everywhere else. So it's, 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 it's great, that you, and then also too, the cheese for this is a great intake for the protein of the hair. And so when I tell you, this is a great combination as a snack. You can kind of snack on this because, again, you want to create the healthiness from the inside out. We're talking about the hair on the top of your head throughout your body. It's very important. Eat a very snack, true. be a snack. Mm. 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 <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's a little grape and cheese. I love it. Mm, thank you so much. And you know, recently, I learned that certain diets can also mess you up. So while they're healthy for you, mm -hmm. that you smell it, that keto diet. Yeah, that keto. Mm. Keto. That's yes. the one. They're like, well, your skin glows and you look fine and you smell like <laughs> Yes. <Your skin. laughs> But your skin glows is because it's like a meat-based diet. It's a lot of grease and a lot of fat. So you wow. have to be very careful. Wow. And you should also always talk to your doctor before starting a new diet because it can affect everything. No, absolutely. Absolutely. But this is a great balance, okay? For the free, a little protein. Thank you so much, love. Absolutely. And again, my name is Morello Kane. It's the Hair Debate. This is a platform where we debate, debunk, and discover all things hair.